I have doubled my income over the last 10 years working in tech, working a nine to five. And in this video, I'm going to share my 10 year salary progression working in data science. And in case you're wondering why I'm sharing this video, there's only one word, salary transparency. And I really hope that after watching this video, if there is one takeaway that you have from this is that it's never too late. As somebody who is a first gen grad, an immigrant who didn't speak English until later in her life, is a high school dropout, had a late career start, and struggled her way into the corporate world, I just want you to know that it's never too late and you can achieve whatever you put your mind to and put in the work. So keep watching till end of this video. I have organized this video by year, so we're gonna start with year zero, which is 2013, and we're gonna end with year 10, which is 2024 today. And I will be sharing total compensation number, which is annualized and inclusive of base salary, stock units, sign-on bonus, performance review bonus, and so on. So year zero, this is back in 2013 when I was in school and I got my first paid internship at Amazon. The internship was six months. The annualized number from that internship was $42,000. Technically, I did not make $42,000. I made $21,000, but the reason I wanted to share the annualized number because the rest of the salary in this video is annualized. So this will give you an idea. So following year zero, which was my internship, we are going to year one. Year one is in 2014, where I actually started working as a full-time employee at Amazon, got a return offer from that internship and started working as a data engineer and my total compensation in 2024 was $70,000. Now, before I go to year two, where you're gonna see a big bump, one thing you need to know is that I did not make enough money in year one as a data engineer, a technical role that involved very heavy coding. The reason for that was everybody who graduated the internship program was offered a same package. And when I tried to negotiate that offer with my recruiter, the answer I was given is that everybody is getting the same package. So I did not have a lot of negotiation power. I ended up accepting that job because I was desperate. <laughs> um, the other options that I had at that time was from consulting firms and those paid poorly. The PwC offer that I had was $53,000 annualized. And the Boeing offer was like around $65,000. There was another offer for like $68,000. So this was actually a good offer, but not for a data engineer. Year two, 2015, at this point, I was working as a data engineer for two years, got a promotion, and my annualized total compensation in 2015 was $120,000. So now this is a big bump from $70,000 to $120,000, but remember this is two years uh, and a promotion. And I was also told by my manager that I wasn't getting paid enough. So there is a band for each role and I was not even on the band. So in order to get me on the band, they have to get me, give me a big bump. So it was a red flag in the system. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> you could have given me money to begin with. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content because I do put in a lot of work outside of my nine to five sharing educational content with you all. Year three and four. So this is 2016, a lot of things happened, but two major things that happened is one, I transitioned out of the data engineering job family to data scientist role. And two, which is a big one, I started interviewing outside because even though I was making $120,000, I was still not confident that I'm making, like I'm, I'm not making my market value basically. So I started interviewing outside just to see like what kind of offers I'm getting. So I ended up getting an offer from Microsoft. And Before I dive into my Microsoft offer and a story that you really, really want to hear, I want to emphasize that investing in myself, whether that is learning new skills, such as transitioning from data engineering to data science by learning statistics, machine learning, SQL, Python, R, or investing time in learning my market value has been instrumental in my career success. And one of the platforms that has been part of my career journey since year zero and before is Coursera, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. 77% of the learners who took Coursera courses reported that they experienced some sort of career growth, including promotion, new job, and expanded skill set. I mean, I am one of them. So if you are thinking about expanding your skill set, learning new things, then it might be a perfect opportunity to sign up for Coursera Plus subscription, which currently has limited time offer 
of 30% off. It has over 7,000 programs from leading institutes like Google, IBM, Microsoft in topics ranging from software engineering, data science, cybersecurity, and several tech and non-tech topics that are useful to you and anybody who wants to learn new things. For example, Google's data analytics certificate that I was part of is hosted on Coursera. So there are several options on the platform for you to pick and choose and decide what is best for you. I'm going to link Coursera Plus with 30% off in the description below. And now let's go back to my Microsoft offer and what happened next. And at that point, the the job market was amazing. It was not employer's market, but it was employee's market. Basically, everybody was hiding, everybody was throwing money. Not the right word, but you know what I mean? Like it's not, it wasn't like 2024 where all the layoffs are happening. Anyways, I got an offer from Microsoft. I took that offer to my manager. My manager liked me enough to go fight with HR and got me a retention offer. There's a lot more nitty gritty and details into this. I can definitely talk about it in different video if you're interested. So 2016 ended up being 200K total compensation. I did make a huge mistake in this negotiation because I negotiated cash instead of stocks. And I can definitely talk about how the, that ended up hurting me in the long term. By the way, I'm currently working on a tech salary negotiation masterclass. So if you want to be on the wait list, feel free to fill out the Google form in the description below and I will let you know when it goes live. I'll definitely be sharing a lot of tips in that masterclass so that I can't cover in this 12 minute video. Okay, now let's go to year five and six. So year five of six is also major shift in my total compensation. This is we're going to 2019. So that's a big jump from 2016, 200K to 2019. 280k. Now, there are two major things that happen here. One is that I started interviewing outside because I was looking for a new job, ended up getting an offer from Google. Second thing, while interviewing, I got another job offer from Microsoft. <laughs> I ended up taking the Microsoft offer. Microsoft offer was higher than Google, surprisingly. I ended up taking the Microsoft offer, took it to Google and had them nego basically had them match my Microsoft offer. Anyways, at this point, you're, you're probably noticing a trend. Microsoft has been instrumental in my total compensation growth, even though I've never worked there. And if you're from Microsoft watching this video, please do not use this information or this video against me. I would love to work at Microsoft one day. So let's chat. <laughs> okay, now let's jump to year seven, 10. This is where the biggest change happened. 280K in 2019 to more than 500K. Now, a major thing that I did this year, in addition to my nine to five, we actually got promotion and got a 10% raise. So 10% raise on the base salary was, you can, you can do the math. It's not gonna add up to 500K. But what I did end up doing is I ended up picking a side hustle that actually makes me money. And that side hustle is content creation. So you can do the math. Content creation has been an amazing way for me to uh, use my weekends, use my after work hours to do what I love doing, which is like sharing educational videos. And yeah, so like I started working for myself. <laughs> uh, basically, that's the takeaway. But would I quit my nine to five? No, nine to five brings me so much stability. And if you have mortgage, if you have responsibility, health insurance, all of that, I don't know if I'm willing to risk that yet and put my family through it. So this was my 10 year salary progression. Let me know if there were any surprises that you noticed throughout the video. I mean, Microsoft is definitely a standout, but anything else you noticed, let me know your salary progression in comments. So maybe somebody can take inspiration from you. And I hope if you watch this video till the end, you found it good use of your time and you found it inspirational. I'm, as I said, like I am not creating this video to brag but rather to show you how I started from nothing with first job at $42,000 to now ending up to where I am more than $500,000. If I can do it, I know anybody else can do it. So I really hope you, that you take this video as an inspiration and my story and my salary progression as a uh, motivation to keep being successful in, in your career. Like three things that definitely work for me and I still do it to this day. One is consistency. Second is resilience. It's like when I fail, I don't give up. I got my Google job on my third try. And then third, hmm, what is the third one? Work hard, of course. 
I, I take that as a prerequisite, like everybody, you have to work hard. Um, so these three things have been like instrumental in my career growth. And obviously like there were some places where I did get lucky. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like this video, you can watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.